Hello everybody and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. This time we're on the third game. I know that this is a long time since I uploaded the last video to now. Don't know why. I, I just haven't really recorded. Like these recordings are are, are recent. So. Let's get into the game. Asbury Frights, the horror attraction, local okay. I took too long to not read that. Say another right night? I just realized that. Right now. And what does he mean uh, this you time? You real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as the security, the security guard. guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's I think this is the game that first now, actually starts six minutes. Size, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or... Uh, Something like that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot Why do you say maintenance so systems that make you all strange. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. I honestly don't like how simple this night is. There's literally nothing. Like, I understand the explanation that takes f three, four minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. I'm gonna have a stroke looking at that, or epilepsy. Seizure, there we go. I can't speak. Having a fucking stroke, because I can't speak. The map layout is still so strange that it's, you know. What's it called? Scott's logo, but upside down in reverse. We completed the first night. Yeah! Follow me, or, 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 or. Error. Alright. 
That noise is kinda loud. That was that is also loud. Okay. We're gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, Why is he already like there? Hello. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over Hi. the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. I, I don't get uh, hello? how they see oh, this hello? suit. Just uh, well, organs and all this, and like, oh, let's, let's bring this, you know. Hi. Uh, oh, that's information not good. On how slash climb into, slash climb out of, mascot costume. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how Hello? to operate these suits as accident, slash injury, slash death. That was literally the worst thing that could ever happen. Can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk for sound ease. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile, you are the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. Also, I only recently learned that when the ventilation goes off, you can see multiple spring traps. Hi. I did not know that until recently. This game has been out for, what, eight years? Yeah, eight. Came out in 2015. And I never knew that. Not only that, but I only recently, you know, beat it completely. Hi. I forget who comes out on this night. I think it's Balloon Boy and Freddy as well. Oh, there's one of them. Hello. Hello. I'll reboot that. <laughs> I think it has f five uses on this night. That sounds right. Hello? Hi. Oh, you motherfucker. I didn't even know the ventilation was going off. I think next night Chica Foxy can come out. I'm surprised I haven't seen Freddy, unless it's Foxy this night. Someone, someone's this night, and I don't know. There 
he is. Peeking at me from that little corner of his. <laughs> Reason I slowly look is because of Foxy, because you can you can avoid Foxy's jump scare. You can avoid most of them. No, you can avoid all of them, actually. Don't look at cam 3 or 4, don't look at cam 8, don't look at cam 7. My Freddy's walking by, make sure- oh. Oh, I fucked up. I don't know why I thought he was- We did it, the second night. Yeah! Once we get past three, I think the videos will show that the game will get harder, the games will get harder, because four I've never completed. I don't even think I've gotten to night five or night six on four, ever. Uh, sister location is just a pain in the ass in general. Pizza Sim I've never completed. And then after that, it's obviously the bigger games, so those are gonna be, you know, and something I haven't completed. I have literally, I think prior to making these videos, the only games I've completed were one and two. And Security Breach. But anyways. Uh, hello, hello. I want to thank uh, you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.